What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is the ultimate survivor. It survived both my water and extreme drop tests. It's still chugging along just fine, looking brand new doing it. So I thought let's get a little bit more technical and introduce the USB killer and some more electronic torture. I know you guys like these videos and you did request them for the iPhone 10, so let's have some fun. Uh, I wanna start with the EMP, see if the all glass design wireless charging is impacted by an EMP at all, the organic LED display. Uh, you guys know these things get a little crazy, so I need my anti-electric shock gloves. And uh, let's get started. So we're gonna do EMP, we're gonna do the USB killer version 3.0, and then the burning laser. So lots of power. We're gonna see how this affects the 3D facial recognition camera, as well as the rear camera. Let's have some fun. All right, so starting with the EMP box, get ready, it's gonna be about to be loud. Oh, it starts flashing, interesting. But not as much, it's not affected as much as I thought. Try the back, will it charge it? Nope. This thing has a good amount of shielding, that's why. Definitely doesn't affect it like other phones, so. It does flash. Let's try it with the camera on. Maybe that'll show us something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> really starts affecting it right there. Interesting. Let me actually record that. Will we see anything? All right, so with the camera on, let's see what this thing sees. <laughs> All right, EMP proof. Looks like this thing is shielded pretty well. Most new phones do have a lot of shielding to protect against electromagnetic interference, so no issues there. Uh, next up, let's introduce the Wicked Laser Spider 3. So this is the most powerful version, a little under three watts of power, I believe so. A lot of burning power. Let's jump into the cameras. We're gonna start with the front-facing camera here. So uh, first off, let's get some protection, you two cameraman. I'm gonna set up the laser first, so. This thing is armed and ready to go at its maximum. So burning a laser versus the 3D facial camera here. Let's see what kind of damage I can do. Oh, it's left a dot in the camera. I'm actually not too sure which one. There it is, that one. Yeah, so it just burns through the sensor, but it's not as bad as the iPhone 7. It like completely destroyed that one. Oh snap, that's crazy, those lines. It's a nice pattern. If you wanted a, a little cool overlay for your camera, you can definitely make that happen. Let's get in real close here. Lots of marks on the sensor and that is not gonna go away. So yeah, not as bad. This thing resists laser even, a burning laser. Pretty well, huh? Remember the iPhone 7, it got destroyed within like three seconds. Huh, okay. So not as much fun as I hoped, but that is the front facing camera. Let's try the rear. Maybe that one will be affected a little bit more here. So uh, right into the sensor there. I can't really see. Oh wow, that one, yeah, that one gets pretty cloudy right away. So it uh, burns, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, not as crazy as the iPhone 7 still, but it does affect it, that's for sure. You're gonna have a permanent splotch on your camera right there. So quite surprised they didn't do more. I thought I would really destroy it, but wow. With direct exposure, this thing lights fires. I mean, look at this, just on something darker. It's gonna create smoke right away. It really burns through it, so. That is quite surprising that it resists it so much. <laughs> Not that you're ever gonna be experiencing these kind of lasers. This is a super dangerous laser and the iPhone 10 handled that really well. All right, so lastly, let's go ahead and test the USB killer version 3.0. All right, so with the USB killer tester shield, let's go ahead and see if we can get a spark going from the most powerful USB killer version that is. By the way, the iPhone 8 Plus did survive, so I expect this one to as well. I mean, it's doing marvelously so far. All right, two, one. 
no spark, no spark at all. Interesting because the iPhone 8 even gave a spark, but this one doesn't want to. Anyways, let's just plug it in and see what happens. Don't expect much to, but all right. So with it unlocked, otherwise it won't work. Three, two, one. Absolutely nothing. Does this thing really have protection against USB killers that the iPhone 8 doesn't? I'm gonna try and reverse it. Nothing. Uh, usually what happens is the lightning ports get burnt out. Let's see if that's the case here. No, still works. So wow, this thing did even better than the iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone 8. And one, oh. No, I literally just killed my iPhone 8. Survived the USB killer, survived the laser attack mostly, better than the iPhone 7, and survived the EMP. So yeah, this thing is an absolute tank. I cannot destroy it no matter what I try. That is amazing. And just to show you guys, with a power source, this thing has a really strong spark actually. Just show you how this works. Well, that's why I'm a little mystified that it doesn't work on the iPhone 10 at all. Get no spark. Seems like Apple has protected it somehow even more than an iPhone 8, which is really surprising. All right, guys, thanks for watching here. Just a little test of its electronic resistance, and it is amazing. I mean, it's doing so well at this point. Don't really know what else I could do to, uh, to prove a point here, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.